There was a time when I thought that the only way to import PowerPoint was to import it as images. I didn't think that it could bring in text as text files, etc. Well, that's not true. Um, now, with ProPresenter 7 and newer, it's true of the Windows version that you can only import images from PowerPoint files, basically screen captures of those slides. But in ProPresenter 7 and newer for Mac, you can bring in just screen captures or just text, or you can bring in text and image files as ProPresenter uh, objects. So it's a little more flexible than that. Now, doesn't bring in animations, as far as I know. I'm, I think that's true. Um, but it is the case that there are a lot of things that ProPresenter can do that you may not know that it can do. And so anytime that I'm teaching an in-person class and someone says, oh, can ProPresenter, I sometimes, just to be funny, I'll cut them off at when they say ProPresenter. So, can ProPresenter? Yes. Most of the time that's true. Now, sometimes you have to be a little creative in how you can get it to do some stuff, 